it is a miracle that my office is clean right now so i'm gonna take this opportunity to do an office tour because i'm about to move so this is the last time that it's going to be clean and i always get questions on where things are from in here so let's just do a quick little tour all right when you walk in the door my desk is right here i'll link everything down below that i can but this desk was the best purchase i feel like i made for my office um i know that i'll take this anywhere that i move i'll take it back to my parents house i'll take it when muhammad and i move in together and i love it so much it's just white and it comes in a like i think a wood color as well but it was so easy to put together it was just in three pieces so the top and then the two legs I put it together myself so if I can do it, literally anyone can do it. I've got my little basket right here with my prayer clothes. This chair is also CB2. And then I've got like my little notepad and my little weekly planner under there. These are just like some coffee table books, some beads. Those are all from Amazon. And then my little camera cards that I need to put somewhere else. I've got my laptop stand. I've got my little phone stand, my camera over here. And then this area, nobody really can see whenever I do like things in the mirror over here. So I put my ring light and my camera stand, um, tripod, <laughs> camera stand in that area. And then this area is my makeup vanity area, which you guys have probably seen a lot. I get questions on this mirror all the time. This is the Riki Loves Riki mirror. There's a bunch of different sizes in this. I'll link this one down below. You can get it on sale during like the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's a really, really good purchase. When you open this drawer, it's very messy, but this is all my makeup, which I kind of, believe it or not, it's really not that much makeup. Like I went through and actually threw away a lot of stuff that was old. So this is like everything that I really do use and it's really not that much stuff. This, this is actually built into the desk. So when I bought it, I was like, oh, this is perfect for makeup, but it's really not that much storage, so. It works for now then on my desk here i've got my makeup brushes this was in like a little pr package and i just put it in there i don't know why it's in there um i've got all my perfumes my beauty blender and then all my cbd which i'm out of some of it i actually need to restock i put my cbd here so that i could remember to order some more because i'm literally almost out of everything really quickly my discount code for equilibria increased to 25 percent off until the end of october um, so if you ever wanted to try CBD, now is the perfect time. I have been using Equilibria for the past six months, like consistently, and it has just changed how I deal with anxiety and kind of like leveled me out because there are so many changes happening in my life right now, you guys. I have honestly, I feel like my face is puffy because I have just been crying so much lately <laughs> and i feel like i just haven't really been on instagram very much because i haven't gotten ready and i haven't like this is the first time i put on any type of makeup in the past week and it's just because there's so many changes going on that it really has taken a toll on me i don't really deal with change very well i've struggled with that my entire life um traveling has given me really bad anxiety the older I get, it's gotten easier, but with me, you know, moving out of this apartment and trying to get more into wedding planning and things that I always talked about that were coming in the future, it's like the future is here now. And so it's just like surreal and I'm like, wow, time goes by so fast. And although things are like very exciting and I'm so ready to, you know, move on with my life, I just have had such bad anxiety about different things, which I will share more with you guys soon but that being said equilibrium has just helped me so much i take it if i'm ever traveling i'll take um one of the some of the daily drops like right before we take off because it just helps me kind of like take the edge off of like feeling anxious i'll also take the daily drops right before i go to bed i take like a quarter dropper um i'm almost out but i'll take like a quarter dropper put it under my tongue uh, let it sit there for as long as possible and then it absorbs the best that way just helps me mellow out and like get ready to unwind to go to sleep. Everyone in my family loves Equilibria. Lauren, Lena, my mom, whenever I'm at home and I don't have my CBD or I'm like spending the night over there and I forget to bring it, I just go in her bathroom and get it because she has it and she uses it and loves it. If you've never ordered before, I would recommend the Essential Plus bundle. It comes with all my favorites. So it's the Daily Drops. Um, these, this is black because it's the um, extra strength ones. So, uh, it, 
I would recommend starting off with the like normal ones so it won't be black it's like a white um, bottle but then it comes with the daily gummies these are their newest product which I wish I could show you guys but they are so good hence why they are gone they are vegan so they don't have any gelatin or anything like that um, they're made with organic tapioca syrup organic cane sugar that's what sweetens them and the flavor is pineapple dragon fruit they're so good and then also it comes with the um, are these the soft gels and I take these like if I don't want to do my daily drops right before I go to bed I'll do a soft gel or if I want to take one during the day to help me kind of focus that's what I'll do so I'll leave um, a link for it down below but just a reminder you can use um, Amanda saw to get 25% off so I'll leave that down below okay continuing with the office tour this mirror has been the best I made a lot of good purchases for this office that are like investment pieces that I know I will take with me other places. So this is the CB2 Infinity Mirror. So as you can tell on the side, it's like a thick uh, frame, but it's infinity because I guess you can't see the frame from the front. But it comes in a bunch of colors and I know that I'll take this with me wherever I move to. I love it so much. This was the best pompous grass that I found. I'll link it down below. It's from Etsy. This is a vase from Studio McGee. I think it's, I don't think it's available anymore, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below. This is a chest from West Elm. Uh, it comes in a chest and I believe a dresser, but a dresser wouldn't fit in this room, so I decided to get a chest. Then over here, I have a clothing rack, and I get questions often like, why do you need a clothing, ra clothing rack if you have a closet? Whenever I'm styling items or I get like new things in that I'm gonna like shoot pictures in or whatever, I'll put it here just so it's easier to see all in one place than like just in my closet with all my other clothes, and I usually have these hangers but packing and everything's just been crazy so not everything matches this morning i actually got up and packed my car with a ton of clothes from my closet here that i'm just not wearing anymore that i'm gonna go ahead and bring over to my parents house so i'm about to go do that i'm just gonna get in the car go Put all the clothes in the in the closet and uh, i don't know how many times i've done this i just anytime i bring a bunch of clothes to my car that i'm like moving somewhere else it's just like it's like takes me back to all the times that i've done this like when i moved in college and then when i moved to dallas and then i moved out of dallas <sighs> i'm so tired of moving you guys <laughs> y'all are gonna die when you see my car because it's packed to the like very top like it's oh, it's embarrassing. I was very embarrassed bringing clothes to my car this morning. Okay, current situation. I've got all my clothes that I'm not wearing and usually I'll put like trash bags over them. I was like, I don't have enough trash bags for that. So here's the situation. Okay, let's get it guys. AKA myself. I'm a little nervous because this is not even half of my stuff. Actually, it's probably half of my stuff. So I've got all my like coats and summer clothes I'm not wearing. The only stuff that's not in here um, is like my workout clothes and my everyday clothes. In my closet, I have this piece of wood right here, which um, hooks are supposed to go here, but they never did. So I'm gonna get some hooks, put them here so I can do like my bags and stuff because I have like some higher up shelves right there, but I can't reach up there, so I feel like it's not gonna be good for like, actually, it's not gonna be very functional. So we're gonna change that. I'm back at my apartment. I picked up Chipotle on the way home. 
I was gonna order it for delivery, but delivery was not an option on the app. This is like the second day. <laughs> That's really bad. I've just been eating out a lot because I don't, haven't been buying groceries. When I got there, they were like cash only and our ice machine's down. I'm like, Chipotle, you need to get it together. But I got a warning on the way home. I got stopped because I got a new car, I think about like five months ago or so. And I um, haven't put, I didn't put the registration sticker on it. And he stopped me because of that. And I'm like, I'm so dumb. I literally have the registration sticker with me. So I put it on while he, while the cop was there. But he just gave me a warning, thank God. My Chipotle order is white rice, chicken, lettuce, medium salsa, corn, and peppers and onions. And then I was going to get a side of guac, but I didn't. I just forgot. So I'm going to eat this because um, I didn't really have much for breakfast. So I'm really hungry. I just got a package in from Nasty Gal. Um, I was trying to style the stuff I got, so I thought I would share. This I styled with some jeans, and it's just this, like, knit sweater. I thought it was so cute. Here's what it looks like out. You could definitely pair this with, like, a um, white button-down, like a long sleeve button-down, and then wear the vest over it with, like, some leggings and some boots, but I just paired it with some jeans, and I think it's so cute. This sweater is a chocolate brown color. I like how there's like a slit in it, so if you wanted to tuck it in, it's like longer in the back. And I haven't got anything from Nasty Gal in a really long time, but they have the cutest stuff. And it's not, it's pretty like affordable. So I'm gonna link everything down below, but I got two dresses, so let me try those on and see how they fit. These jeans are kind of wrinkled. They're from Mango. I actually got them altered to fit me a lot better. And I'm pretty sure they're not available anymore, but if they are, I'll link them down below as well. Okay, next. I got this white like cream knit dress. There was this one from ASOS I got like I think two years ago. Is my camera crooked? Hold on. Okay, there was this white knit long sleeve like fitted dress I got from ASOS like two years ago and it was so cute but it sold out. And so I wanted to find something a little bit similar to share. Okay, I'm gonna try this on, but I'm just really hoping that it's not see-through. So we'll try on and see if it is or not. Okay. Cute. I would definitely need to wear like some Spanx or something under this, but I'm gonna pair it with some boots. Just to see what this would look like. Um, these are my favorite purchase from this year. They were a little bit pricey. Um, they're the brand Shuts, and I got them from Nordstrom, but they sold out on Nordstrom, but they're still available on the actual, like, Shuts website. They're these, like, uh, like, crocodile, um, chocolate brown boots, and they are so cute. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, let me show you guys. Okay, keep in mind, this is not, like, steamed or ironed or anything, but these are the boots. Here's the dress. It's not see-through. I just wouldn't wear like black underwear with this. And I prob will probably wear like some Spanx just to like suck it all in and make sure it's in one piece and together while I wear this dress. But I love it. I think it's so flattering. I love the like bell sleeves. I think it's so cute. And the V-neck isn't super low, which is nice. I think it's super flattering. Really, really pretty. Okay, last item I got, I actually don't remember what this is. I'm so happy that both of those, what was it, the dress, this dress and that sweater both worked out. Okay, this is, what is this? Oh, another dress. Okay, this is a black maxi uh, sweater dress. So cute. Um, I'm going to try it on just to make sure it's not itchy. I am so pleasantly surprised with my Nasty Gal purchase. Like, I'm so happy. It's not itchy. I paired it with these booties, and as soon as I put these on, or these boots, as soon as I put this on, I was like, this is such a Lena outfit. I feel like my sister right now. But, because she has these boots as well. But, so cute. You could definitely pair this with sneakers. I will say, if you want it to be like fully maxi, 
um, pair it with boots because you can see like it comes below my knee, but I would say this is like a midi dress, not a maxi. But how cute. Balloon sleeves. I got my true size. Let me see what size this is. This is a small. Yeah. So cute. I'm so happy with this. I've officially scheduled movers for next week. I've got to pack up everything this next, like this weekend. And I'm actually going to go back to my house tonight because my mom uh, is going to help me switch my me and Lauren's bed. So Lauren got a new bed frame. If you guys saw her share it on Instagram, it's so cute. So I love it. I think it's adorable. She does not like it. So I was going to get a new one for the house. And since she doesn't like hers, we're just going to switch. So she's going to take mine, which is kind of like a, you guys have seen it. It's like the big wooden one. Uh, and I'm going to take hers and it'll match so much better with my nightstand. So hopefully the next time you guys see a vlog um, will be the actual like moving day. And I decided to hire movers because I just want to like get it over with and I don't want to have to rely on like anybody in my family to help me move because it's really hard. Like moving is such a workout. If you guys have ever moved, you know how it is. It's just not easy and it's not a one person job. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you. This might be the last, not the last vlog you'll see in my apartment, but one of the last. So I can't say I'm really going to miss this place, honestly. Um, I do miss my Dallas apartment. But this place, I'm honestly just ready to kind of get out of. But <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.